I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Howdy, viewers. Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment. Doing a redo of a video I did in the first playthrough. And it is called Pouring Forth Oil. I only did the third and fourth part. I'll link to the video because I didn't record the first and second part, which, my bad. I mean, like I said, I made a lot of mistakes on my first playthrough. I'm trying to redo some things and post different videos as I continue venturing forth in Red Dead Redemption 2's world. So let's get on with pouring forth oil. And it's the complete parts one through four. Part one involves Arthur and John discussing the train robbery and how they're going to go about robbing the train. And this is how it all starts to play out. Hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. Look, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. They have to try this a few times to succeed, but how I'm going to show you how to steal the oil is the easiest route. Once you steal the oil wagon, my advice, don't try and follow a road. It's easier for them to pursue you. Just go crazy and go off road with this thing. Yeah, your better chance of escaping them is to just go off road. And again, they'll pursue you one way or another. Uh... You're going to have to shoot a few guys, slow down to do it, because it's awful hard to shoot someone when you're, like I said, trying to drive.
that should be the last of the pursuers. Like I said, it's so much more easier to go off road and the pursuers will slow down. They might not even chase you. But I am very close to Dewberry Creek and where I have to drop the wagon off. Damn, I overshot. And horses don't have a reverse. Good thing I can swing this puppy around and repark it. Now that I have it swung around, I'm going to bring it to a stop and park it. And that will be the conclusion of part two of this mission. After you get back to camp, you can inform John that, yeah, you got the wagon full of oil and all is ready for the train robbery, which, after you talk to Dutch, you can go talk to John. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> After part three, in order to do part four, you have to do the mission of Fisher of Men. And that means you take John's son down to go fishing and you meet up with the Pinkertons, but I'm going to skip over that. I already did a video in regards to that video, and let's get on with part four. Easy now. Whoa, whoa, that's a good girl. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. Well, can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Ah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future, in all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. 
<laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Get up. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. This is actually timed. Uh, first time I played it, I took too long. And, yeah, I missed the train and couldn't do the mission. And I had to restart from a checkpoint. Most of this is conversation, which is... You're going to hear if you do this mission. And they pick on Sean and they talk a lot. I'm going to fast forward through this to where they put the oil uh, cart across the tracks. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this ride for nobody... Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I need to get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Faster. All right. Get on that train. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Everybody stay calm. The train is get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money's valuable. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Stop making me quiet. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Please. What's the problem here? Don't molest me, please. Money. Hey. Now. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Don't okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag. Everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. Sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to count to three. One, two. Stop. God damn it. Sick is better than that, lady. Thank you, my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says. So this can Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why that? Why wasting our time? You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing with. Stop it! For pity's sake! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't make me hurt you. Money now! Son of a bitch! Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. 
This is unnecessary. Please. What is it? You alright? I admit I did some editing there. Sean gets killed, and you don't want that to happen. Stay outside of the baggage car until you kill all the guys in the car. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Play me best, brother of all. Rob the baggage. Uh, yeah, they never give you any real time and no way, way to actually rob the baggage. And I'm like, what the heck? This sucks. I guess you just automatically get the baggage robbed. And these guys show up. In that case, we're fighting. Hush, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberty. Eh? There's a few more to turn up. <sighs> Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. In any escape, don't try and follow the roads. Just go off road and off route. Ride across country because it's easiest to evade the law once you go across country, which is what I do with Arthur at this point. That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. And there you have it, pouring forth oil. A copper finish. But then again, I always had an issue with trying to rob the bags. And I'm going to put a save in so that way I don't lose my place if something bad happens. What sucks is now there's a bounty on Arthur's head. And yeah, I'm going to go pay off the damn bounty. It's a $50 bounty. I want to be able to access St. Denise and Rhodes when I want to access it. 
So, yeah, I'm going to go pay off the bounty and visit the fence. Maybe I've got something to sell. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. You'll be informed when I post videos because I post four videos a week involving video games and a short on Wednesday. You don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.